isn't life such a beautiful thing? Don't you think? If you guys are enjoying this content, don't forget to like this content here. Also, click on the bell. Come on, be a part of the notification. <laughs> seafood paella. Let me show you how easy it is to make the best seafood paella ever. My twist, my take on it, all right? Don't blame my twist, my take on seafood paella. So if you guys want to see the authentic version of Vas is it Vaselina Spain paella, I'll leave the link here guys, just click on it. Don't come at me with anything because paella started in Vaseline, is it Vaseline Spain? I think it was Vaseline Spain, so my apologies if I said that wrong. But to this paella pan, three tablespoon of olive oil going in, one whole large onion, two tablespoon of garlic. Once I got that cooked in, I got one red onion, one green onion, nice and chopped, four Roma tomatoes. I'm going to do half a tablespoon of salt, half a tablespoon of pepper. I'm going to do a little bunch of thyme. Three small bay leaves. Once I got this nice and cooked down, I got a cup of snow peas here, which I'm just going to throw in. Once I got that nice and sauteed, half a cup of white wine in. Next, got three liters of vegetable stock here. Since I don't have any fish stock, my twist, my take on it, two tablespoons of fish sauce, makes up for the fish stock. <laughs> my twist, my take on it, guys. Again, my twist, my take on it. All right, once it boils up, guys, I got a boar rice here. I couldn't find any medium grain rice. I couldn't find any Spanish rice. So I have to go with the boro. So six cups of this going in. So I'm just gonna try to spread it out evenly. What am I doing? Just spread out even like this. Let's touch this, guys. We got that good old expensive saffron right here, guys. I'm gonna do a few pinches of this on top. All right, time to throw my seafood. Check this baby out, guys. How creepy is that? Big prawns here. With the creepy legs. <laughs> so creepy. Who's creeped up right now? I'm creeped up. I'm just gonna throw these guys right in the middle. Oh, man. And some New Zealand mussels. And some leftover mini shrimp here. Well, it's jumbo shrimp now, it's not that mini. Compared to this, it's mini. <laughs> Throw this all around. Take my tin foil, cover this up. And we pray for this to be done in 25 minutes, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing burnt, just everything perfect. Let's pray for that. Moment of truth, guys. Is this cooked? Probably not, but I'm gonna dry it out a bit. Oh man, that looks beautiful. <laughs> All right, lastly, should I throw calamari on this? You know what, I'm doing it now, why not? So calamari, I don't even know why I question that while I'm doing it right now. Calamari on this. Cover this for about 10 more minutes, guys, before we start serving. 10 extra minutes up, it's done. I think I burnt the bottom, guys. 
I smell it. Last touches on this. Do you know what I forgot, guys? The paprika. So I'm just gonna add just a touch of paprika on this. And some lemon. There it is. My twist, my take on seafood paella for 2019, guys. When are you guys gonna come through? <laughs> Quick time, guys. Smells burnt at the bottom, but looks amazing. <laughs> come through. Seafood paella. So, rate my paella or my seafood paella. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do, guys. Push everything to the side. I want some of this rice. The rice is a little runny, I think. <laughs> I don't know. No, I think it's perfect, guys. Yeah, it's a little runny. I should have let it run a little longer on the heat, but I say it's still all good. I smell a little burnt in this, but I guess I didn't burn it that well, so still all good. I think only in the middle got burnt. Just let this cool first. You know what? I'll give you guys this first plate. Put out your hand. My twist, my take on this paella. Quick tap. <laughs> Let's do this. Get it while it's nice and piping hot, guys. Your little calamari too. Quick time. Take the first bite of this. Paella, my twist, my take on it. Let's get it. Nice. Super pumped for this. Mm-hmm. Oh man, ho oh. ho! You know what I should have done? I should have looked harder for the short grain rice here. Mmm! I want to say Arzo works, but it's very creamy. Creamy as in a risotto creamy. I want to say it's still delicious, but I kind of prefer the, the dry out rice green there. Guys, another bite of this. Quick time. Tell me what you think. It's got it. Nice. Super pumped for this. Mm -hmm. Mm. Just because there's mussels in this already. Nice, another bite of this. Quick tap. Let's get it. Nice. Wait, wait. I don't know what I'm doing. I just don't want to burn my my mouth. <laughs> I've been burning my mouth lately, guys. It's not a good sight. Pump this. Oh. Ah. Uh. Mm. I'm gonna use this as a spoon. Wow. The rice, the fragrance rice is amazing, guys. Guys, another bite of this with the shell. I just got it. Nice. <laughs> Wait, there's a little time here. I'm not gonna eat. Wow, you know what? I feel like I'm gonna do this for um, the summer camping trip. What do you guys think? Paya, seafood paya? Mmm. I see everybody just grabbing one of this, a little plate, and just going at it. Nice, another one. Quick time! Wait, is that a bay leaf? No, it's not bay leaf. All right, that's even more delicious now. Since it cooled down a bit. Oh man. I taste more. <laughs> All right, here's the mini shrimp. Without this one, wait, I think it's the same size, guys. 
but it costs more. Nice. A bit of that shrimp. Quick tie. Let's got it. Nice. Mmm. Overcooked. <laughs> I should have threw it in the last. Mm. Definitely should have threw it in the last. Mm. Put the calamari. Cook that. Yeah, nice. Pump for this. Alright, what did I say? Camping trip. Summertime. Paella. Good friends. And a bottle of Hennessy. <laughs> you can't go wrong with that, guys. You can't go wrong with that. Oh, man. Okay, I'm gonna eat this guy right here. I'm not sure if you can eat this thing right here. It looks very intimidating. It looks like a thorn tree or a thorn stem there. I'm just gonna take some of this beautiful rice. Oh, look at that. I told you it was burnt. I told you. You guys didn't believe me, but I told you. Oh, I think traditional paella, they like to burn their rice because it adds a little more flavor. So I'm not even mad about that. Okay, put this. We're gonna wait for our paella to cool down a bit. Come on, let's go on into this. Oh, here. Suck on this head. Quick time. Let's got it. Nice. If you ain't sucking shrimp head, we ain't friends. <laughs> oh man, that's dry. <laughs> <laughs> I overcooked this for sure. I wanna see if I can eat this, but look at this, guys. You see, I see it? The hands are sharp. I don't even know. I wanna try. Ow! Ow! Is there meat? Oh, there is meat in there. Nice, quick time. It's got it. Nice, pump for this. Mmm. Tastes like shrimp. Ay. Makes it even harder. Just to try to get some meat from there. All right, I'm gonna put this to the side for a bit. I'll put this dry head to the side for a bit. <laughs> Overcooked it. I overcooked it for sure. Alright. I should have threw this in last. Alright. This guy was overpriced, I would say. Look at that. Yes, yes I did overcook it. That's why I drank, but take the first bite of this. Quick time. He's got it. Nice. Pump for this. Oh wow, I goofed it. I over, over, overcooked this. I'll tell you what it tastes like. It tastes like rubber. <laughs> That's what it tastes like. Goofed it so bad. But it just tastes like a regular shrimp, guys. That's overpriced. <laughs> that shrimp was a little disappointing because I overcooked it and because of the price of it, but. I didn't overcook this. Guys, another bite of this. Paella. Let's got it. Nice. Pump for this. Oh. Mmm. Little of that burnt rice. Put that. Let's got it. Nice. Mmm. Mmm. I'm not really a big fan of burnt rice. But that was amazing. Mm hmm. Next time I make this, I'm not going to throw in shrimp early. 
I think I'm gonna do fish or bass or fish. Just because it can withstand uh, the heat or for a long time, heat for a long time. I'll probably do shrimp, just throw it at the end. I don't know what I'm thinking. Is it weird if I throw sausage in this? I feel like this needs a little sausage. Some chorizo or something. Some spicy chorizo. Last bite, quick time. It's got a nice pump for this. Ah, oh, oh. why did I do that? Absolutely amazing. That's it. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to pick up one of your bombers of Food Life's Beautiful Things shirt. Like, share this. Peace out.